Right MCMers, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to MCM Outdoors, following on from the, well continuing with the theme of local walks, I've, uh, I've explored an OS map, local to me obviously, and um, there's a new route which follows um, country lanes, across fields, around Hailston Hall Golf Club, I don't know what the scenery is going to be like, hopefully it's going to be nice. Um, across further farmlands winding our way up to Cleves Hills and um, a nice section of the walk called Devil's Wall which looks interesting and sounds good um, so I'm going to make my way um, on this one and bring you along for the walk it's 12.1k um, I'm still trying to get back to fitness but hopefully these sort of walks are going to be you know standing me in good stead for when we're allowed up in the mountains again so without further ado let's get out there let's crack on and hope you enjoy this one There's a nice pub, the Kicking Donkey. I've enjoyed many a nice pint outside of here. They do lovely meals, nice roast dinners, and it's really nice in the summer to walk from my house and enjoy a nice beer in this pleasant beer garden. It will be nice when this pub and many others like it open again. Anyway, we're gonna travel a bit more, a bit further north. Then we're going to be taking a left onto the first farmland track on this walk. So we're just travelling down Narrow Moss Lane and um, we've got Heaton Castle Farm to our right. And we're going to be taking a left towards Moorfield House Farm and Hailston Hall Farm. So soon we're going to be travelling west across the farmland. Our folks are I don't know if this mic's picking it up, but Skylark, that's a nice welcome sound. I thought that was only spring and summer. I'll have to do a bit of reading on that. But it's a nice, you know, that, that sound invokes memories of late spring and summer wild camp. So that's lovely to hear. So here we go folks, it's subtle, but it's here, just mounted high on that telegraph pole. Left, public footpath, and a first for me now. This is all new, all new walking territory. Even little local walks like this, it's still exciting to be coming somewhere different. The smell of manure is the culprit. Oh Christ, it's the hound from hell, Cujo's up here. Um, just gonna consult the map. We were savaged by the beast from hell. So if I'm about to get attacked by this dog, You're gonna see it live on camera. Now this track does take it, does take us through these farm buildings. All right, it's a German Shepherd and he's fenced there, in fairness to the farmer. But I think this takes us to the left of these farm buildings. So yeah, it can't, it's, it's nicely secure, that dog. But yeah, we're definitely on the path. We're either going to get shot or savaged by this dog. There's always a feeling when you go through places like this that you're just not meant to be here. Oh, dearie me. Look at this. These public footpaths need sorting out. I'm on a footpath. This is a legitimate footpath. Is it here? Who knows? This is shown as a foot. Oh my god. It's all just gone horribly wrong. <laughs> what a load of. <laughs> this is shown as a footpath.
it's always funny isn't it because people know about youtube and vlogs but when when people actually see you know some random bloke walking down a footpath holding up a camera and talking to it you just get some right funny looks <laughs> oh, I spoke to a lovely old couple just on a nice walk they were giving me tips on the, the local paths and trails it was nice to have a chat with them and have a bit of a laugh about the state of the ground lovely to see people out walking and enjoying themselves very nice So I'm putting all these local lockdown walks as a bit of a subcategory in YouTube and I'll give them their own playlist but I think it'll be nice to look back on you know when times are back to normal and uh, they will go back to normal not nearly normal it will be normal will be reinstated trust me on that one but yeah it's going to be nice isn't it to look back at well, I think it will and see what it was like what what it did when times were like this and this was part of the reason i've set up the youtube channel a bit of a video diary in life really and you know for my little ones to look back at it and it'll be nice for them uh, and for me when i'm old and gray and i can't get up the mountains anymore I can sit back and look at the event adventures with a beer. And I think it'll just be nice to have. That, that was some of the, the reasoning for setting up the channel. Anyway, we're going to go take a left and face another bog. Thank you. Oh, God. Hashtag funny looks. <laughs> oh, bizarre just spoken to the owner it was really nice she knows it's a footpath um, and it takes you onto the golf course oh here's the style here it is she was nice and understanding and at the end of the day it's a right away <laughs> I'll tell you what this is an eventful little walk We're exercising our rights. Oh, look at that, it's the log flume. Come flying out there on a rubber ring. <laughs> well, according to this, we are dead on the footpath. We're not doing anything wrong. And then it goes to the right. Oh God, there's just so much waffling on this. Right, I'm going to speak to you when we're out at the golf course, otherwise I'm going to waste my memory card just talking. Absolute drivel. I can hear diggers and stuff, so... Yeah, this is showing as the footpath goes right across the fairway. Some old puffballs from last autumn. Old and decayed. We've done the things. Spread the spores. It's a nice patch of pine trees. You see a few other walkers with dogs, so although it doesn't feel right, it is okay. Is Walshy. The local goat population. It's all new to me this. And yeah, I am interested in the you know the fact that footpaths still marked on OS maps simply don't exist anymore. What is the law with regard to that? Can anyone point me in the right direction? Anyone know anything about OS mapping and public rights away? I'll do a bit of research, but I suppose if people have got a map and there's a green dashed line on it, you know, they're gonna walk along and it could potentially bring you into conflict with landowners. So I think that needs to be sorted out. You know, for example, here, is this someone's driveway? Or is it a path? The map puts me firmly on a green dash line, public right of way. Um, yeah. So, interesting topic for debate. And I think I'm going to put a post in the group 
the Facebook group about that. You can't just say, F it, I'll walk where I want. It doesn't work like that. I've got to play by the rules. Well, there's some absolutely mega farmhouses behind me. The main brick building, just to the right, is Ormshaws on the map. Uh, there's obviously some collect connection to Ormskirk there. And then there's the newer, modern sort of farmhouses built off the side of it. I'd love to live somewhere like that. Proper, just in the middle of nowhere. You know, what a, an amazing property. Just out, surrounded by nature. If there's any, um, any single women that own properties like that, that, you know, fancy going on a few dates, let me know. But yeah, that, that'd be my dream, spot on. Here we have a common buzzard, distinctive cry. Bootio, bootio is the Latin name, funny, isn't it? Common buzzard. If, uh, if we can find a sound effect, well, if you didn't hear that, I'll overlay it and you'll always remember their distinctive call. That, if you didn't hear it, it's hunting. Hunting on the breeze. It's like a shrill, high-pitched, that. So it's looking for voles and stuff and small mammals, lots of rabbits and stuff around here. But yeah, common buzzard. And it took off from that copse over there interesting it's always worth knowing about wildlife and the birds that you're seeing and hearing and trying to identify them i'm fully aware that i'm rambling a lot and some of these videos are a little bit longer than they normally are now i appreciate that but i'm only doing this because we're in lockdown and i'm only doing it because you know for those people who just haven't got anything to do like me <laughs> or they live on their own like me um, so they don't mind a bit of an extra video no, feel free to skip i'm sure most of you will rather than listen to me rabbit it on but you know for those that are struggling you know hopefully it's given you something different to watch it's time for a quick snack some emergency cheese we've got a little packet of cheese from aldi those little mini ones so we've got a uh, Bit of cheese in this brunch bar. So we're gonna have this, just in this corner of the field. <coughs> Stupid cough, still left over from the old COVID. There's some geese returning. Pink-footed geese, that's what they are. Get the seatbelt on. The stomach holder. And continue. <laughs> well, I'm leaving it in. Did I look very stupid? Again, just for the benefit of any doubters. We are firmly on the green dash line, approaching Northmore Pit. It is definitely a footpath on the map, and I think there's a marker post, but it's just really poorly maintained. Um, you know, if there's like little planks, it, you can jump over these sort of drainage ditches at the sides of fields, but plank of wood. So they wouldn't go amiss because they're pretty wide. Um, but it's just so strange the way these are described as footpaths or right away. I'm sure I'll be corrected in the comments. We're approaching something called Northmore Pit, which I presume uh, so it's like a small pond on the map. Um, in those trees there. Maybe there's fish in it and pegs. Who knows? These signs always. Oh, what does that mean? Up, right, left, down, back. Follow the footprints. Follow the signs. 
some jelly ear fungus. I think that's edible. It can be dried. They don't trust me on that. I'm no expert on mushrooms. I think it is. Thrives on dead and rotting water, some jelly ear. There's loads of different types of it. And I think you can eat it all. Oh, shizer. Right, here we go. We've got something that looks like a, we've got a bridge. Thank God for that. No more ditch jumping. It do, does have a bit of an eerie feel to it. I love ghost stories and things. I think that's why I like Pendle Hill so much. Love hearing spooky tales, and legends and stuff. Wolf prints. Yeah, I love all that. It's interesting, isn't it? But I don't think there's many people that come this way at all. This is a... Uh, a footpath for the for the insane especially with the sort of trainees on here we go this looks a bit better drier patch of field oh. open farmland without any huge puddles or mud Possibly, possibly a kestrel. It might be a buzzard. But it's sat there. I think, yeah, it is. It's a buzzard. It's sat. If we try and make it fly off. Here we go, watch. It's sat there. We're walking straight towards it. I'm gonna see if it flies off. There we go. It's not a buzzard. I think it's a peregrine. It was a peregrine falcon. Happy days. There's an old gate post from days gone by.
How's that for a lovely winter scene? Winter skies above Cleves Hill. It's got a really nice feel to it. Well, it's just being outdoors, isn't it? But I'm one of them people, I think different walks have different moods about them, different feels. And that, again, changes for me with the seasons. They sort of add on a different feel to the walks. Uh, maybe I'm just weird. If anyone else can relate to that, let me know. Make me feel better. But this is a lovely nature reserve. I spoke about it when I did a little walk with Herbie when I took mum and dad's dog out. It's managed by local residents and it's called Gorse Hill Nature Reserve. It's lovely. Some nice wildlife and bird life here. And I can see the sign up in the distance. We're coming up to the Lonely Oak. The lone, solitary oak. Here it is, in the distance. A bit like me, only I'm not as old. I'm starting to feel it. So here is Devil's Wall Meadow marked as such on the sign now it's a bit of a legend in this area and basically tells how an old tailor made a pact with the devil to save his marriage and devil's wall is an oddly situated sandstone wall which is sited in the meadow created by the devil and he was challenged to complete it in one night in order to win the soul of an Ormskirk tailor. All seemed lost, deep gulfs were sounding and lashing their fury beneath the ground, and thunder seemed to bow the very poles of heaven and make them totter. But the devil was tricked into taking too long, a cock crowed and the fiend was gone. The wall remains, as does another landmark, Shirdley Hill created when old Nick dropped a load of sand while flying his materials in across the moss from Formby. So, it's a strange legend. And Lou, if you can find any more about it, let me know. Interesting, isn't it? Folklore and legend, the Devil's Wall. So yeah, that's it for the muddy paths. Thank goodness for that. I'm just sticking to this road. I'm going to come out behind the old Women's Institute and then we're going to drop down into the town centre of Ormskirk itself. But it's been a good walk, nice and long, probably about another kilometre to do, but 12.11k, it's nice, you know, you do that and that's, that's you know, that's your dose of the outdoors. Again, you might live in the city centre of London or Manchester but there are parks and there are open spaces get yourself out there go and explore go and extend your routes we'll crack on and I'll speak to you again before the end of this video we're going to pass a bar up ahead it used to be called the Ariba where I used to DJ for a bit of extra cash <laughs> when I was back at uni with uh, a couple of good mates had some right good laughs in there I'll show you when we go past the Ariba, DJ Hughes. That's the bar, the Ariba, where it used to be. Just have some good lock-ins there. Good laugh with the lads. Walk up there. Back in the day. Absolute cracker. Some brilliant times there. Funky house. House music. Friday, Saturday nights with Andy, Kenny and Anthony Price. Cracking. Right, there's the church behind me, one with the tower and the steeple. So that's everything behind us now. We're almost home. It's been a massive walk. I've really enjoyed myself. If you've enjoyed it, please take the time to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to MCM Outdoors, please consider subscribing to the channel. Check out the back catalogue. And I'll see you for the next. 
adventure, whatever that may be. Take care. Don't answer the phone, spending the days on my own, then repeat this for weeks to come. I don't care what I miss, cause my life is dismissed. I keep saying.